Hi guys! Um, I'm going to do a cast today on focusing on the shoulders. So I think quite a lot of you uh, told me that with lockdown and working from home and not having your normal office set up and things like that, you've been getting a bit sort of hunched. Maybe you're sitting uncomfortably or it's not the right height desk or something for your laptops and computers. So hopefully this will help ease things up a little bit. Okay, so just coming down to lie to start with in Shavasana as we normally start our classes or my classes. Okay, so bringing the feet to mat distance apart, letting the feet relax, taking the arms down by your sides, try and have a gap between the body and the arms. Tucking the chin ever so slightly into the chest to lengthen the back of the neck. Remember that the neck is part of the spine. And we're going to try to lengthen the spine throughout our practice. When you found your comfortable position, just tuning into your breath. As you inhale, feel the belly rise. And as you exhale, feel the belly fall. If it helps you, you can take your hands onto your belly, the fingertips gently touching. As you inhale and the belly rises up towards the ceiling, the fingertips will come apart. And as you exhale, the belly drops back to spine and the fingertips come back to touch. Inhale, feel the belly rise. Exhale, feel the belly fall. Trying to lengthen and deepen each breath that you take, allowing the body to begin to relax and taking the attention out of the mind. So by focusing on the breath, we take that focus away from the mind, away from those thoughts that can be traveling all over the place. Inhale, belly rise. Exhale, belly fall. When you're ready, very gently rolling the head over to the right side. Notice if there's any tension or tightness you can feel in your neck. And then gently roll it back to centre and over to the left. Again, noticing if there's any tension that you can feel. One more time, rolling over to the right. And then rolling over to the left. And then coming back to centre. And then just notice now where your shoulders are. Do they feel as if they're up towards your ears? And see if you can reach your arms down towards your feet a little bit. So you're creating a little bit more space between the shoulders and the ears. Not so it feels uncomfortably strained, but just so that you feel as if you've taken that extra little bit of space between shoulders and ears where it still feels comfortable. Take a deep breath here. Open the mouth and exhale. And then when you're ready, stepping the feet together, draw the knees in towards the chest and just gently rock side to side if that feels comfortable to ease into the lower back, giving the back a little massage. You may or may not have opened the eyes yet. Feel free to keep them closed. In fact, you can keep them closed throughout much of the practice if it feels comfortable for you. And then when you're ready, you're either going to roll over to one side and push yourself up gently to sit, or you're going to cross over the feet, take hold of the outer edges, roll yourself backwards and forwards a couple of times until you can roll all the way up. Okay, so finding a comfortable seated position that's very different for everyone. You may want to sit on a block if you've got a block at home, or sit on a cushion which is a little bit more comfortable. So you just raise yourself up a little bit. It makes it easier if you are sitting cross-legged to create that pelvic tilt. If this is just not comfortable, and I know it's not for some of you, you might just want to sit with your legs out, or you may want to sit 
on your, or kneel, if you like, and sit on your heels. So wherever works for you, you might have one leg out or something. Just getting comfortable. So we're gonna be sitting here for a couple of minutes. Okay, so from here, resting the hands down onto the knees, shoulders away from ears, sitting up to a crown of head, lifting up towards ceiling. Imagine that there is a thread joined onto a hook on the top of your head. And that thread is being lifted up towards the ceiling to sort of elongate you, your spine up. So you feel nice and long. Again, it should feel comfortable, not a strain. From here, we're going to inhale, shrug the shoulders up around the ears. And then exhale and let them fall back down. You can audibly exhale. Inhale, shrug them up. Exhale, let them fall. And again, inhale. Good. And then when you're ready, dropping the chin down towards the chest. Taking the head over to the right side. Taking it up towards the ceiling. And then exhale down to the left shoulder, along the left collarbone and back to centre. And again, inhale over to the right, all the way up towards the ceiling. Exhale down to the left shoulder and along the left collarbone. And then we'll go two times the other way as well. So inhale over to the left shoulder, up towards the ceiling. Exhale down the other side and along the right collarbone. One more time, inhale over to the left, drawing that semicircle with the chin, and then exhale down the other side. And then when you get back to centre, drawing the head up to what feels like a neutral position. And then again, you may want to open the eyes or keep the gaze low, whatever works for you. From here, taking the right arm up towards the ceiling, taking the left arm behind your back, Bending your right elbow, take the hand behind your head and see if you can interlace the hands. So I'll just demonstrate for you. So if you can, you're going to sit and interlace the fingers, but some of you might not be able to get there, so you might just grab hold of your top. Or if you've got a strap, or probably some of you might not have straps or props at home, so you might just want to use a scarf or a tea towel, something like that. So taking the hands together or grabbing hold of whatever you're using, that right elbow up towards ceiling. Take a deep inhale here. And as you exhale, gently leaning over to the left side. So you get that deep stretch down the right side of the body all the way up towards that right elbow. So I can feel that stretch down the back of my right arm, upper arm. Nice deep inhale here. Deep exhale. One more time, inhale. Exhale. Gently inhale to centre and exhale to release the arms. And then we're swapping to the other side. So left arm up, bend the elbow, take the hand behind the head. Right arm behind, again, maybe you can join the fingers together. Maybe you're using some form of strap. Try and keep the chin up so you're not dropping the head down. Nice deep inhale. And exhale over to the right this time. So again, that stretches down at the back of the left arm and down the left side of body. Nice deep inhale. Deep exhale. And again, nice deep inhale. Deep exhale. Inhale coming up and exhale to release the arms. You might want to have a little bit of a wiggle. Okay, this time take the arms out to shoulder height. Take the right arm to the center, left arm underneath and then see if you can bind the hands together. Some of you might have the backs of hands together, some of you might be able to join like so. So eagle arms, and then bring the elbows up in line with shoulders. So you feel that stretch across the top of the back, so across, as if the shoulder blades are coming apart. Keep the chin up, nice deep inhale, deep exhale. And again, nice deep inhale, exhale. And now we're going to inhale, and as you exhale, take the elbows down towards your belly button. So you're rounding the back here, dropping the chin. As you inhale, reaching up, you can take the elbows up a little bit higher. Exhale, rounding back again. 
towards the belly button. One more time. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, rounding. Inhale, coming to center. And exhale, release the arms back out to shoulder height. So this time we take the left arm to the center, the right arm underneath. Again, wherever the hands meet, if they meet, or backs of hands perhaps, Elbows come up in line with shoulders. Feel that stretch across the upper back. And then again, breathe here. Nice deep inhale. Keep the chin up. Deep exhale. And again, inhale. Exhale. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale here. Exhale. Folding inwards. Inhale up, reaching up with the elbows. Exhale, rounding the back. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale to centre. Exhale, release the arms out and then take them down by your sides. Just taking the hands down, probably fingertips more so onto either side of you. So it's probably in line with your hips, I would say, but it feels kind of comfortable and the shoulders away from the ears. Chin parallel to the floor. Again, you might want to close the eyes, just gently dropping the right ear towards the right shoulder. So you feel that stretch down the left side of the neck. Breathing here, nice deep inhale. Deep exhale. You may want to increase that stretch down the left side by gently walking your left fingertips away from the side of your body a little bit further, if that's comfortable. Again, nice deep inhale, deep exhale. One more breath, inhale, exhale. And then gently walk the hand back in if it's gone out and then gently bring the head back to centre. Then we're going to go to the other side. So we drop the left ear to the left shoulder. Again, you might stay here and just breathe here. Or you might choose to walk that right hand or right fingertips a little bit further away to increase that stretch down the right side of neck. Either side or each side will feel different, so don't worry. Nice, deep inhale. Deep exhale. And again. Last time. The hand has come out, walk it back in and gently reach the head back to neutral. Good. Okay, and when you're ready, inhale, reach the arms up, looking up. Exhale, twisting to look over your right shoulder behind you. Your left hand might decide to come to the um, right knee. So you're sort of using that knee like a lever and you're looking over your right shoulder behind you. Keeping the spine up nice and tall. Nice deep inhale, expand the belly. Exhale, draw belly to spine. And again, inhale. Exhale, draw belly to spine. Inhale, reach the arms up to centre, looking up. Exhale, over to the left. So this time, right hand outside, left knee. Left hand behind you to support you, looking over that left shoulder. Spine up nice and tall. Nice, deep inhale, expand belly. Exhale, draw belly to spine. Inhale, expand. Exhale, belly to spine. Inhale, reaching up. And then exhale, folding forwards, coming off of your heels, in whichever fashion you're sitting, props out of the way. And then if you can, you're going to sit back onto your heels. So you might tuck under the toes to sit back and then this stretches the underside of the foot, but it can be very uncomfortable and you might need to also pull your little baby toes out. They still sort of get tucked under. Or if that's too much, sit on the heels like so with the feet flat. For those of you that find this just unbearable, just sit, um, you can, sorry, kneel like up here, wherever it feels comfortable, or you might just need to sit if it's just not gonna happen for your knee. So various 
positions, just make sure you are comfortable and not in any pain whatsoever. Okay, so hands onto the knees wherever you are. As you inhale, we're going to puff the chest forward, shoulders back, looking up and taking the chin up. Exhale, rounding the, the um, upper back. So you're drawing the chin to chest and rounding the shoulders. So it's sort of like a cat cow on our knees. Inhale, looking up, puff the chest forward, shoulders back. Exhale, rounding chin to chest, shoulders sort of hunching in, I guess. Feeling that upper back stretch. Inhale, puffing the chest forwards. Exhale and round. Two more, inhale. Exhale. Last time. Exhale. And then coming back to neutral. And then coming on to all fours. So you want your wrists underneath your shoulders, your knees underneath your hips. And then we're just going to work on the wrists a little bit, make sure they're opened up. So just placing and placing 180 degrees back one at a time. Now some of you won't be able to take it um, 180 degrees back. Your hands might decide they only come 90 or just not quite there and that's fine. It just means your wrists are a little bit tighter and you might need to practice this one a little bit more. For those of you that are comfortable with this, you might take both back together. Just make sure throughout that your wrists are, your elbows are straight, sorry. So you are taking the weight into the wrist to feel that stretch in the backs of wrists. Really spread the fingers wide. Breathe. And then when you're ready, coming back to centre, have a little wiggle. Okay, and then when you're ready, you're in that neutral position, spread the fingers, and then we're going to work on our shoulder blades. So as you inhale, press your hands into the floor, and you're pushing into the floor so you feel that upper back stretch, so your shoulder blades come apart. So you'll see that rounding in the upper back there. Exhale, and squeeze the shoulder blades together, so you'll feel your chest dips in between your arms a little bit. Inhale, press into the floor, upper back stretch. Exhale, squeeze shoulder blades together, that you get that slight dip. Inhale, press into the floor, upper back stretch. Exhale and squeeze. Arms remain straight at all times. Inhale, press. Exhale, squeeze. Last time. Inhale, press. Exhale, squeeze. And then come back to neutral if you need to. Have a little wiggle with the wrist. And then when you're ready, again, nice all fours position. We're taking the right hand out in front, the left foot behind. We're going to work on our abdominal strength. So draw the belly button back to spine, push through heel of left foot, spread fingers of right hand. Keep looking down at mat so you're not straining the neck. Take a deep inhale here. As you exhale, draw your elbow and your knee to touch. They might not get there and that's fine. Inhale, stretching out. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, reach. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, reach. Exhale, squeeze. Last time, inhale, reach. Exhale, squeeze. And then inhale, place hand and knee back. Swapping to the other side, so left hand out. Right leg behind, push through heel of right foot, spread fingers of left hand, keep looking down at mat, belly draws to spine. Nice deep inhale here. Exhale, elbow to knee, squeeze. Inhale, reaching out. Exhale and squeeze. Inhale, reach. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, reach. Exhale and squeeze. Last time. Inhale, reach. Exhale and squeeze. And then inhale, hand and knee back down. Again, if you need to wiggle out the wrists, please do so. Now we're going to take the knees wide, wider towards the edge of the mat. Big toes come together. Sit back onto your heels. Stretch the arms out in front of you into child's pose. Your forehead may be able to rest onto the floor. So you're stretching out the arms in front of you so you feel that stretch across the shoulders and that stretch through the upper back. Breathing here, nice deep inhale. Deep exhale. 
Then if it's comfortable for you with your forehead on the floor, you're going to interlace the hands behind your back. Take another deep inhale. And as you exhale, you're going to draw the arms over towards the front of your mat. They're not going to get there, and that's fine. Take a deep inhale. Just opening into the shoulders, deep exhale. And again, nice deep inhale. Deep exhale. One more time. And as you exhale, drop those hands back down towards your bottom. Release the fingers. Take the arms back towards the top of the mat. And then gently coming up to all fours again. So again, wrists underneath shoulders. And then you're going to step the feet to the back of the mat into your plank. Just briefly to align yourself for your downward dog. So you're going to push your tailbone up towards the ceiling into your downward dog, spread your fingers, keep a bend in the knees and pedal out those feet as if you're squeezing lemons into the mat. Just to ease into each leg, the back of the legs, the hamstrings, all the way up to the glutes. Just having a little pedal out, checking out how everything's feeling today. Good. And then when you're ready, dropping the knees back down to the floor, sitting back onto the heels just for a moment, and come into dolphin. So again, this is strengthening for the shoulders. So taking your, bi your hands around your biceps to measure, you want to keep this distance with your elbows apart. So you're going to take the elbows down about a foot in front of the knees, and you're going to imagine that they're now glued in place. Interlace the hands in front of you, and then draw the shoulder blades down the back. So you'll see if they're hunched, your shoulders are up around your ears and it doesn't look very comfortable to sort of come into a dolphin in this sort of rounded position. You want to draw the shoulder blades down the back. So you've got shoulders away from ears. Tuck under the toes and then lift your tailbone up towards the ceiling. So you're balancing on your elbows here. Strengthening the shoulders. Keep those shoulder blades drawing down the back. Keep breathing. Do not worry if you need to have a bend to the knees, that's absolutely fine. If you can, you might decide to walk the feet in, maybe just a centimetre, an inch. Again, still with a bend to the knees, that's fine. Breathe here, nice deep inhale, deep exhale. If at any point you need to come down, come down to child's pose to rest. Nice deep inhale, deep exhale. Last time, deep inhale. Everybody exhale, drop knees down, come down to child's pose, arms stretched out in front of you, forehead to the mat. Breathe, nice deep inhale. Deep exhale. And then when you're ready, coming up through all fours to start with, fingers spread back to your plank, back to your downward facing dog. So again, you might still have a bend to the knees, so they're not fully warmed up yet, and that's absolutely fine. Pushing that tailbone high, pushing into those hands, engaging through the shoulders. Nice, deep inhale. Deep exhale. Everybody bending the knees and walking those hands back towards the feet. So you come into a forward fold. So you're sort of hanging like a rag doll, let the arms hang. Maybe swishing the hips gently side to side. Give the head a little nod, a little shake side to side. And then rolling yourself up with bent knees, vertebrae by vertebrae, until you come to stand. And then coming to the top of your mat. Okay, so feet hip distance apart, hands together at the heart centre. When you're ready, inhale, reaching forwards and up towards the ceiling. Exhale, floating down. Inhale, the right leg steps back. Keep that knee at the back lifted if you can. Take that right hand, keep it on the mat and reach the left arm up. Push through your right heel, reach up with your left fingertips. So you're into a twist here. Nice deep inhale, deep exhale. Take the hand down to the mat, step straight back to your downward facing dog. Good. Again, if you still have a bend in your 
knees here, that's fine. When you're ready, you're going to inhale and step your right foot forwards between your hands. Take your back foot to 90 degree angle and windmill up with your left arm behind your right arm in front. So you're in a warrior two. So your right knee is stepped over your right ankle. You should just about be able to see your big toe when you look down on your right foot. And then gently allow the shoulders to relax, the arms to relax. From here, inhale, shrug the shoulders up around the ears. Hold the breath, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Exhale, draw them down the back. Inhale, shrug shoulders. Hold the breath, squeeze shoulder blades together. Exhale, draw them down the back. One more time, inhale. Hold the breath, squeeze. Exhale, release. Take the arms back out to shoulder height. When you're ready, inhale, right arm comes up, left arm back down at the back leg. Keep that right knee bent. Exhale, coming all the way over to side angle. So you're balancing your right elbow on your right thigh, reaching the left arm towards the room in front of you. You can let the right ear fall to shoulder if that feels comfortable. So you've got that lovely stretch down the left side of body. Nice deep inhale. Deep exhale. Nice deep inhale. Exhale. When you're ready, inhale, reaching up to your warrior two. And then exhale down to the mat, step back to downward facing dog. Take a breath here, nice deep inhale, deep exhale. And then when you're ready, inhale, right foot steps forward, drop the back knee down, reach up into your lunge. Hands to the mat, feet to parallel, forward fold. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, float down to forward fold. Inhale, left leg steps back. Again, keep that left knee lifted. Left hand onto the mat, reach the right arm up into that twisted lunge position. Push through the back heel, reach up with the right fingertips. Nice deep breath here. And then taking that hand back onto the mat, step back to downward facing dog. On your next inhale, Stepping the left foot forwards between the hands, taking the right foot to a 90 degree angle. We've got heel to heel alignment here. Right arm swoops up and over into your warrior two position. Check your alignment, knee stacked over ankle. And release the arms. Again, shoulder shrugs here. Inhale, shoulders up around the ears. Hold the breath, squeeze shoulder blades together. Exhale, draw them down the back. Inhale, shrug. Hold the breath, squeeze shoulder blades. Exhale, release down the back. One more time, inhale. Hold the breath, squeeze. Exhale. Reach the arms back out. Inhale, drop the right hand, reach the left arm up. Keep that bend on the left knee. Exhale, swooping over to side angle, left elbow to left thigh or left knee. Reach the right arm up and towards the front of the room. Drop the left ear to shoulder if that's comfortable. Breathe here, feeling that stretch through the right side body. Nice deep inhale, deep exhale. One more breath here. On your next inhale, sweeping back up to warrior two. Exhale, float down to the mat, step back to downward facing dog. Take a breath in your downward dog. If you need to rest in child's pose at any point, remember to do so. And then on your next inhale, step the left foot forward, drop the right knee, reaching up into lunge. Hands to the mat, feet parallel, forward fold. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, swoop down. Inhale, right leg steps. You're going to take that twisted lunge again. Right hand on the mat, reach the left arm up. This time we're going to take circles with this left arm. So we're going to reach forwards. Try to take the arm on the outside of your left knee. 
So you're circling three times forwards, opening up into that left shoulder. And then three times the other way. You can take your gaze with it if that feels comfortable for you. Through the neck. And then place the hand on the mat, step back to downward facing dog. Good. And then when you're ready, on your next inhale, inhale the right foot steps forwards, back foot to 90 once again, windmill up to warrior two. Stack that right knee over ankle, breathe, feel strong. Okay, from here, release the arms once again. Okay, we're gonna take the arms, or the elbows even, to hug the sides of your body. So maybe if I stand this way, it'll be easier. So you're staying in your warrior two position, you're taking the elbows and you're hugging them into the sides of your ribs. So you're feeling as if these parts, your inner arms are squeezed and glued almost to the sides of your body. Your hands are out like this as if you're holding two trays. So you're going to inhale, to take the arms out. So you see how the sides of my, um, the insides of my arms have not removed themselves from my ribs. And you're going to exhale and see if you can squeeze them and cross the arms over. So you inhale, open out, and exhale, squeeze. The idea being that you're working through your sh shoulder blades here. So inhale, exhale. Keep squeezing those arms to the sides of the ribs. Inhale, Exhale. One more time. And then release the arms back to your warrior two. Take the arms down to the mat, step back to downward facing dog, take a breath here. Again, if you need to, rest in child's pose. On your next inhale, the right foot steps, back knee comes down, we reach up to lunge. Hands come to the mat, step the feet together, forward fold. Inhale, bend the knees, reaching up. Exhale, float down. Inhale, left leg steps, push through that heel, left hand onto the mat, right arm reaches up. And again, option to circle through that shoulder. So circling with the arm as if you're sort of doing a front crawl. And then you'll change it to do three strokes back, back stroke. And then you'll place that hand back on the mat, step back to downward facing dog. When you're ready, take a breath. And then on your next inhale, you'll inhale the left foot forwards, between the hands back, foot to 90, windmill the arms up to warrior two. Find your position, knee over ankle. Release the arms down and again we take those sort of crisscross hands as if you're squeezing, as if you're holding trays. So squeeze the inner arms to the ribs. Hands out like trays. And then again, inhale, cross the hands, squeeze those inner arms to the ribs. Exhale, keep squeezing. Hands come out as far as they can. Inhale. Exhale, keep squeezing to the ribs. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. On the exhale, you should feel your shoulder blades squeezing together. Inhale. Exhale. Release the arms back out. On your exhale, come down to the mat and step back to downward facing dog. Take a breath or have a rest. On your next inhale, inhale, left foot steps, drop the right knee down, reach the arms up. Hands to the mat, feet to parallel, forward fold. Bend the knees, inhale to reach up. Exhale, hands together at the heart center. Close the eyes, take an inhale. Open the mouth and let go. Good. Okay, we're gonna take warrior three as a balance. So when you're ready, coming somewhere on your mat, 
If you're on a carpeted floor, it'll probably be a little bit harder, so it'll be a bit more wobbly. So take your left foot, ground it into the mat. Just take the right toes on the floor slightly behind you. We'll start with the hands together at the heart centre. Find your drizzly slightly ahead of you on the floor, something that's not moving. And the key here is that I want you to try and keep your hips neutral and parallel. So I don't want this right leg to come up and you just take, turn your hip out to the right side. You want to keep your belly button facing the floor. Okay, so when you're ready, take a deep inhale. And as you exhale, lift that right heel behind you. So you're lifting that right leg. Again, remember to keep parallel so you're not turning out the hip like so. You're keeping the belly button facing the floor, if you like. Hips neutral. You will get a deep stretch down this left hamstring. Breathe. Nice deep inhale. Deep exhale. Wobbling is fine. One more breath if you can. Woo, she says, and I'm off. <laughs> okay. When you're ready, inhale gently coming back to stand. Good. Okay, opposite side. So right foot ground, hands still at the heart centre, find your drizzly. Again, keep focusing on this hip so this left hip is not going to turn out. You want to stay neutral, belly button facing forwards. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, folding forwards, lifting that left leg behind, push through heel of left foot, stay neutral through those hips. Breathe. If you fall over or wobble over, just have another go. One more breath. And then inhale gently when you're ready to stand. Okay, we're gonna do the same again on the other side, but you've got the option this time to have the arms out and fold forwards rather than at the heart centre. If you want to stay with this one, that's fine. Okay, so arms come up. When you draw the arms up, try not to shrug the shoulders up with them. Keep the shoulders drawn down. Ground into that left foot. Find your drizzly. Take a deep inhale. And as you exhale again, fold forwards without turning out that right hip. So push through right heel away from you. Belly button to floor. Nice deep inhale. Deep exhale. Keep breathing. Inhale, slowly coming up to stand and release the arms. Grounding the right foot, opposite side. So again, when you draw those arms up, if you're drawing them up, not the shoulders, keep the shoulders drawn down. Spread the fingers, find that drizzly. Take a deep inhale. And exhale to fold forwards. Push through that left heel. Try not to allow that left hip to turn out. Keep neutral. Keep breathing, keep focused on that drizzy. A little soft bend to the right knee might be useful. When you're ready, inhale coming up. And exhale, release the arms. And have a little wiggle. Let it all sink in. Good. Okay, grab a drink whenever you need one as well. You should have a drink with you. Always good. Okay, from here, we are going to take our feet either side of our mat. So if you wanted to, you could just turn on your mat, but for your, so you can see me, I'll stay like this. So pigeon toe the feet ever so slightly out, so they're at a little bit of an angle. And then come to sit down into horse stance, as if you're sitting on a horse. Take the arms into goddess or angel wing. So the elbow is in line with the shoulder, palms are facing in, and the fingers are spread. And this is opening up the chest. Keep the chin parallel to floor and breathe. You might want to close the eyes. So this is really strengthening for the legs as well as working on those arms, opening up across the chest. Really good for getting rid of bingo wings. If you wanted to, you could sink a bit lower. Keep breathing into that belly. One 
One more breath. Release the arms. Straighten out the legs. Have a little wiggle. And then step the feet to parallel once again. Okay, from here. In fact, rather than parallel, if you take the feet to touch, bring the arms up. So you're sort of hugging the ears with your inner arms. Hands, uh, palms to touch, chin lifted slightly. Take a deep inhale. And as you exhale, folding over to the right side, so you're stretching through the left side of body. Really good for the waist, these stretches. And the next inhale coming up. And then exhale over to the left. Inhale coming up. Exhale the hands down. Again, feet to... Um, Shoulder distance now, hands onto the hips, soft bend to the knees and just circle through the hips just to wiggle it all out, make sure everything feels all right. Well, you could in fact have a little dance here and no one can see. And then the other way. Good. And then let the arms hang and give the shoulders a little bit of a shake. Again, no one can see you here, so do what you want, really. As long as you're moving and shaking, let everything just loosen completely off before we come down to the floor. Have a little wiggle. Shake out through the wrists. And the feet, the ankles. Other side. You can take this for as long as you want. And then when you're ready, finding your stillness, final tadasana, feet parallel, arms down by your sides, palms turned slightly forwards, chin parallel to the floor. And just find your stillness. Notice how you're feeling. Notice if the shoulders feel as if they're drawn slightly further away from the ears than maybe when you started the class. Just take your attention to the shoulders and notice if they feel relaxed, loose, soft, hopefully. Take a deep inhale in through the nose. Open the mouth and let go. And then when you're ready, you're going to come down to sit on your mat. Okay, taking the feet out in front of you, pull the fleshy part of the bottom away, so you feel the sitting bones on the floor. You're going to bend your right knee and take your right foot in line with your left shin. Draw the toes back on your left foot taking your left elbow to the outside of your right knee, if that's possible, or thereabouts. Your right arm behind the back to support you as you look over that right shoulder. So you're in a seated twist. Keep pulling those left toes back towards you so that left hamstring is engaged. And breathe here. Breathe into the belly. There's this restriction because that knee's in the way. And this is how you get the, that really good digestive twist. Nice deep inhale, expand belly. Exhale, your belly to spine. Inhale, expand. Exhale, draw it back. One more time. And then inhale, gently coming back to centre. Release the arm, release the leg down. We're going to swap sides. So left foot in line with right shin. Draw the toes back on the right foot. Right elbow, outside left knee, if you can manage. Left arm behind the back, looking over that left shoulder behind you. Keep the spine up nice and tall, so try not to lean back. You wanna keep the spine up tall. And again, breathe deep into the belly. Nice deep inhale. And deep exhale.
One more breath. Gently inhale, coming to centre, unravel. Straighten out the legs, give the knees a little wiggle. And then from here, making sure your feet are down towards the bottom of your mat. Pointing the toes, take the arms out in front of you at shoulder height, tuck the chin in towards the chest, and roll yourself down vertebrae by vertebrae until you come down to lie on your mat. So nice and slow and controlled. When you get here, take the feet onto the mat, soles of feet onto the mat. Take your arms down and you should just about be able to tickle your heels with your fingertips. Your feet want to be roughly hip distance apart, so your knees stacked over your ankles. Arms down by your sides, palms up, so that they're not doing any of the work here. Again, your shoulders should be away from your ears. We've done all that work to loosen them up. Tuck the chin slightly in. We're just going to come into a bridge pose. So taking a deep inhale. And as you exhale, gently pushing your pelvis up towards the ceiling. So you can come up as far as feels comfortable for you. So if you only want to come up an inch off the floor, that's absolutely fine. You're still engaging those legs and those glutes. Or you can come up a little bit higher and really push your belly button as high up towards the ceiling as is comfortable. Press into those feet, squeeze the bottom. The legs are doing the work. Nice deep inhale. Deep exhale. And again, nice deep inhale. Keep squeezing. Deep exhale. Last breath, nice deep inhale. And as you exhale, first of all, come onto the tips of toes and exhale as you roll all the way down vertebrae by vertebrae onto the mat. Nice and slow and controlled. When you get there, draw the knees in and once again, have a little roll side to side. Massaging into the lower back. And then from here, options. I'm just going to scoot down a little bit so you can see. So if you've got a cushion or a block, you might want to take that underneath your sacrum. So it's not on your coccyx, your tailbone, so that would not feel comfortable. It's a little bit higher. And then you take the feet up towards the ceiling. So that's nice and restful. Just a little bit of extra height. Or you can take your feet against the wall. Exactly the same position. When you come up towards the wall, see if I can demonstrate over here. I know it's only half a wall, but... So you're going to scoot your bottom right up against the wall, so you're on your side with your bottom right there. And then you're simply going to swing the legs up. Obviously, I've got half a wall missing here. Ooh. Or, final option is a shoulder stand. So, I'll come this way so you can see me slightly better. So you're going to use your arms to support you, your elbows are doing the supporting. Scoop the hands as close together as you can, the elbows, sorry, as close together as you can. The arms pushing down towards, or the hands pushing down towards the floor to get up nice and high. You'll feel a bit constricted in your throat. This is how we massage the thyroid. Really good for metabolism. If you've um, got either an underactive or an overactive thyroid, Whichever one, it will be good, beneficial, it will massage it so it does whatever it needs to do. So whichever position you're in, just breathing, allowing the heart to have a rest. Gravity is taking that blood back to the heart for you. Keep breathing. Two more breaths. If you've got your legs up the wall, just gently, as you came up to the wall, come down. So you bend the knees and then roll to one side. If you've got a block, gently remove the block and bring your knees in towards your chest and then roll down. And then if you're in your shoulder stand, draw your knees in, use your arms like brakes and roll yourself down onto the mat. I'll just come back to neutral position. So you've come down to about here, and then again have a little wobble side to side to massage the back. 
And then when you're ready, taking your legs out into your Shavasana, arms down by your side, grab socks, blankets, cushions, anything that you want, eye pillows, to make yourself super comfortable. And just take some time in your Shavasana for you. So again, tune into your breath. Feel the belly rise and the belly fall. Allowing the breath to get deeper and longer. Allowing the body to relax into the mat. No holding on of tension, just letting go. With each breath, the body feels as if it's melting a little bit further into the mat beneath you. With each breath, the body feels as if it's melting into the earth. Supported by the earth. Weightless. With each breath, the body feels more and more relaxed. There's nowhere else you need to be except right here on your mat. Relax. Very gently when you're ready, bring a wriggle to the fingers and a wriggle to the toes. Stepping the feet together, drawing the knees in towards the chest to give yourself one last hug. When you're ready, rolling over to the right side or the left if you have low blood pressure or think that you might have low blood pressure. Keeping the eyes closed, use the hands to come up nice and gently to a seated position. Bringing the hands together at the heart centre. Taking a deep inhale. Bowing forwards as you exhale. Namaste. Thank you, everybody. I hope that you enjoyed that and feel a little bit looser and a little bit better. Um, and I will try to record another class very soon.